everybody. Welcome back to phase two. At this point of the program, you should have completed eight days of fiber and cleanse complete. Um, you will take these bottles until they're entirely gone, but these first um, eight days are the only two products you have been taking. Now, depending on what program that you have picked, you will either get a one ounce bottle for two, 20 days, or you will get a two ounce bottle for 40 days. You'll get bottles of Sugar Shield, Cardiomax, Corella, and Innate Pro. Everything that is in the white bottles during this program, you will take entirely till it's gone. The only thing that you're going to be more careful of the way that you measure and only take for the phase two are the bottles of Sliminate. It's very important that you are precisely measuring. I recommend the dropper, fill up the dropper with the dosage that you need and draw a line on it so that you know exactly how much to take. The more precise you are with measuring, the more product that you have left if you still need to lose a few extra pounds after your 20 or 40 days. So be very precise about that. This is the product that burns your adipose fat, your organ fat. This is what burns it for uh, your body, gives it fuel as you're eating a lower calorie diet. You're going to be eating about six or 700 calories um, per day for the 20 or 40 days. And what foods you're allowed to eat and what if foods you're allowed to do are marked out for you on page 38, 39, 40, and 41. This is phase two. Be very precise about uh, paying attention to these phases. Your sugar shield is to help you with carbs. Cardiomax is to help you with sugar. Car uh, Corella is an ongoing cellular detoxification and probiotics is a gut detoxification. These are the two products, like I said, that we recommend that you stay on forever. They're core basic supplements that help your body ongoingly battle fat, which also battles detoxification, which helps your body get rid of the toxins. So what you're gonna start doing is in the back of the book, there are journal sheets that you are gonna to start to break down exactly what it is that you are eating each day. For the 20 or 40 days, you will not be eating breakfast. You will be eating lunch and you will be eating dinner. It's very important that you journal everything that you're eating as it tells you to do in this book because when you figure out what foods are helpful for you or what foods are not helpful for you, that's how you will journal. So when you start taking the other products and you go to the lower calorie diet, you're very limited on what types of foods that you're allowed to eat and the quantities of what you're allowed to eat. As we eliminate majority of the variety of foods and then in phase three you add stuff back in, we're able to figure out exactly what it is that you're going through. Remember, your book has everything that you need to know about this and how to take them, when to take them, what not to take them with, some take with food, some take you don't have water. It's very precise, be very detailed about how you take care of it, how you take the products. And it is outlined for you very detailed here in the book it is outlined for you very detailed in this extra sheet of paper and these videos are going to outline it for you as well as the bottles tell you how to take it um it tells you to how to cook it bake it broil it grill it read your labels no certain seasonings you're allowed to have play with your seasonings it's important that you give yourself some flavor because um, I, I, recommend, I tell everybody that this is the easiest, hardest thing that you'll do. It is really easy. It, this book is so labeled out easily for you to understand what to do. It doesn't get, you don't have to question it. You just have to eat and do what it tells you to do. But it is also hard because it tells you what to do, no more free will. You'll see such success if you just follow the program the way that it's supposed to be done. While you're taking drops, do not exercise. There is no exercising to be done on phase two. Phase two is all about burning your body fat instead of burning calories that you'll be eating. On an average day, you burn about a thousand calories just by doing your normal activity. Your caloric intake is going to be somewhere between six and 700, depending on what foods that you pick off the list. That gap is enough for the drops to be kick in to help burn your adipose fat, your organ fat, that type of fat so that it burns it for fuel. You actually will get to the point where you're cleaning and detoxifying that you're gonna have more energy by eating less food because the drops are gonna be burning your stored fat. Um, so don't exercise because if you, your caloric intake stays at the same but your, your activity calorie burn goes higher, that gap is too big and the drops will not work. 
So there, <laughs> don't exercise on phase two of the program. This office is all about exercising, but only in the phase two will you not do that because so that your body has the chance to burn as much calories as it needs to without going into starvation mode. And that is also explained to you in the in here about the starvation mode on, on page 39 of what that means and how that works. So phase two, take every single product in the white bottles until it's entirely gone. And they are meant to run out in different times. I don't want you to be codependent on taking products I want you to figure out how and start your body in the process of burning fat ongoing and figuring out what foods are trigger foods for you that are good for you, that are bad for you. As I said, the only two products that you stay on, I would highly recommend the Corella and the Probiotic. So once they're gone out of the program, order online and get more products because it's gonna help you be continuing that cellular detoxification for you. So key points, remember, take products till they're gone. Only take these for phase two and be very precise about how you're measuring. Keep your probiotic in the refrigerator because it's live and it needs to stay cool. So remember to, to do that when you get that out of your program. Read your book. The most important thing that I can tell you is to read your book so you know what's going on. And in phase two, journal. You have to keep a diary journal of the food that you're eating so that when you start to add food back in in phase three, you can look back and see what foods are good and bad for you. Something else that I always recommend too in phase two is try to eat the same proteins two days in a row for each meal. So like chicken, have chicken on for lunch and dinner two days in a row. Then have steak or ground meat or red meat two days in a row. Then do fish two days in a row and watch and see what happens with your weight. Proteins are very helpful in regards to the way that your body will lose weight, but not all proteins are created equal for each individual person. I do really well with red meat. I have tons of patients that don't. I have tons of patients that do exceptionally well with chicken. The more chicken they eat, the more weight that they lose. As you're going through to generate this into the rest of your life, it is important for you to figure out what foods are gonna be good for you and what foods are gonna be bad for you. I don't expect you to eat like a rabbit for the rest of your life. I don't eat that way. Is there things that I eat, um, food that is not like considered a health food? I love potato chips. So when I eat a potato chip, I make sure that I'm eating clean the rest of the time. Some people love to eat ice cream. I'm not saying you can't ever have these foods again. I'm just saying that you have to do them in a limited quantity. And if there are foods that you like that cause your weight to go up, you need to figure out and know what foods are good for you to help your weight go back down. Good rule of thumb, 90% of everything that you put into your body should um, grow on a plant, bush, shrub, or tree or eat a plant, bush, shrub, or tree. If it's made in a plant, that should only be about 10% of what you eat. Mating a plant, anything that is processed, anything that's not found grow in nature. So if you follow that eating protocol 90-10, you should be fine in regards to once you achieve the weight that you want to get to, if you maintain that eating protocol of 90-10, you should be able to maintain it. I see time and time and time again that our patients will put all this energy, not just um, physical energy, but energy and money and all that stuff into this program and they have huge success and then they fall back into their old bad habits. I don't like the word diet. Diet is something that uh, people put together as something that is a bad thing. Your diet is the normal food that you eat every single day. For a certain amount of time, your diet is gonna be restricted to certain foods and quantities, but overall, your diet is what you should eat every day to be healthy and maintain the weight that you just lost and put all the energy into losing. Always remember that you are in control of that. You are in control of what it is that you put into your body and how it is that you adapt, adapt to that. So the point of phase two is to figure out what foods are good and what foods are bad for you. And then we continue that into phase three with adding some more different varieties in. Recap, done with the eight days, cleanse and fiber, continue taking till they're gone. Start all the other products on the table. Keep probiotic in the refrigerator. Do your Corella, Cardiomax, Sugar Shield, Drops, be very precise. Read your book, journal, and pay attention to the sheets that we're giving you in regards to this. 
you will have success and our website is here to help you understand exactly what that is and how to answer any questions for you. So keep a positive attitude, don't exercise in phase two, and remember to drink your water. So have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.